105. What is the effect on the amount of CaHPO4 that dissolves and the concentrations of Ca2 plus and HPO4 minus when each of the following are added to a mixture of the solid CaHPO4 and water at equilibrium? And then we have the addition of CaCl2. So what's going to happen to CaHPO4, Ca2 plus and HPO4 minus when CaCl2 is added? Well, in order to answer this, let's first write out the balance equation. They did say that we are starting with CaHPO4, right? So we have CaHPO4, and this is coming to equilibrium with Ca2 plus and HPO4 minus. So we have Ca2 plus and HPO4 minus. Seems like we're setting up a solubility product here. So they did say that this was a solid, right? CaHPO4 was a solid, so I know that this has to be an S. And there's charges here, so that means that these are aqueous. And I'm looking across to see if this is balanced, and it's balanced already, so I don't have to do anything. So that equation is done. Now we just got to figure out, well, what's going on with the CaCl2? Now, remember, this is a, you know, ionic compound. It's a soluble compound it breaks down into its two ions. So we have a breakdown of the Ca, and calcium's in group two, so it's always a plus two, and we have the Co minus. For this example, it does not matter that you have two of these. It's just that you can identify the actual ions. Now, if you're adding CaCl2, that means that this has to increase, and because of that, your ions are also going to increase. But now how does this get translated down here? Well, maybe there's an ion that matches. And in this case, we do have a matched ion. Calcium 2 plus and calcium 2 plus. Look at that. So if I'm increasing CaCl2, I'm increasing the amount of Ca2 plus, and that means that the Ca2 plus will increase. Now I just have to figure out what's going on with these two. Well, this comes from Le Chatelier's principle, which we learned, I have no idea, five chapters ago? A long time ago. Probably 500 questions ago. <laughs> it's been an epic journey. Anyway, in this case, we're adding concentrations. We're adding an amount. If you are adding an amount, you have too much. And when you have too much of something, you want to get rid of it. So you shift to the opposite side. Since you're adding on the products, you would want to shift to the other side, and that means that your shift is going to be towards the reactants. And if you're going this way, that means that you're making more of that compound. So this would increase. The CaHPO4 would increase. And if you're going this way, what's going to happen to the HPO4? Yeah, it's going to drop. And these are your three answers. So your CaHPO4 will increase, your Ca2 plus will increase, and the HPO4 will decrease. And that's that. Pretty simple, right, guys? What do you think? Please subscribe to the channel if you want to help us out. We're almost at 20,000 subscribers at the moment, and that's all because of you guys. So your fate is in our hands. Thank you, and have a great day. Okay, bye-bye.